near Bakhmut, Ukraine in the final days of 2023. Snow and fog have given way to sunshine on Ukraine's eastern front. But the improving weather brings its own dangers for Ukrainian soldiers stationed near Bakhmut. For Ukrainian tank crews, sunny days mean they must camouflage themselves and their equipment more carefully than ever before. As they continue to repel attacks launched by Russian forces from the nearby city. A year ago, Bakhmut and other nearby areas were the site of some of the war's most intense fighting since Russia's full scale invasion in February 2022, with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky vowing to retake Bakhmut in September. Artillery barrages have largely destroyed the city, leaving it under Russian control since the spring. Now Alexander, a tank operator turned mechanic who asked to be identified by his first name only, spends most his time holding the Ukrainian line on the outskirts of Bakhmut, where attacks and artillery fire have become part daily life. On a sunny day late December, his crew was tasked with being ready to fire from covered positions. However, in rare cases, they risked conflict open areas, thus exposing them to attack drones. Alexander, who was drafted into army a year ago after trying to enlist right after the Russian invasion, says his desire to fight has only increased, especially in face of high casualty figures brought on by protracted bloody wars. Speaking to Current Time, a Russian language channel run by RFERL in cooperation with VOA, Alexander said, My arms and legs are strong. Thousands of them continue to come and go. He added, referring to the killed and wounded Ukrainian soldiers fighting in eastern Ukraine, Every arm and every leg in Ukraine is worth its weight in gold. Strategic stasis outside Bakhmut began to reflect the reality of war as 2024 approached. Kyiv's once highly anticipated counteroffensive has largely stalled, and Western funding for the war continues to wane due to rising costs of living and declining. Approval ratings across the West The 60 billion aid package proposed by Biden administration Ukraine to meet the country's expected needs until 2024 has been postponed for months due political deadlock in Washington. As a result, administration has been forced to reduce the size of military aid packages sent to Ukraine on a bi-monthly basis since August. As authorized funding has become dangerously low, the State Department announced its latest arms package of $250 million on December 28 bringing the monthly total to 450 million. From March 2022 to July 2023, U.S. military aid averaged more than 1 billion per month. Despite progress the battlefield slowing, Ukraine has continued to advance in recent days, launching airstrikes on Russia's Black Sea Fleet near the Crimean port city of Feodosia and December. 29 in southern Russia's Belgorod and Bryansk regions. Moscow has also stepped up its own attacks, firing more than 150 missiles and drones at Ukraine on December 2.